हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर तुषार पंचा सीईओ ऑफ गुजरात टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटीज इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर दैट इज जीटीयू इनोवेशन एंड स्टार्टअप सेंटर एज वेल एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट ग्रेजुएट स्कूल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज सो वॉम वेलकम टू दिस वन ऑफ द यूनिक यू नो द सेशन ऑन रोल ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट और वी कैन से एजुकेटर्स इन बिल्डिंग स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम एंड स्पेसिफिकली Uh, I'll more you know detailed out on the Indian startup ecosystem. So we'll go through it one by one, each and every you know aspect of you know the startup ecosystem, the enablers of startup ecosystems. So as you all are being you know part of higher education institutes as a faculty, as academicians, as a researcher, and you all are contributing by your best. so nowadays you all are you know witnessing the movement which is being you know started by startup india to boost up or to create a culture of startup and innovation among higher education institutes so we must have that question why only the higher education so you all are knowing the innovation comes from you know the students youth in the majority cases and also the backbone of the startups this innovators are not other than you can say the faculty members or the culture which we have created within our higher education so as a educator how we you know support them how we can provide them end to end extended you know support so that they can contribute they can at least merely you know taste the success and by which uh, we can say combinedly that this all efforts comprises startup ecosystem so let us understand these things the steps which are already been taken by ministry of education for setting up institute innovation council you might be part of it or you may not be but you may you know after listening to this session definitely you would be you know like to be part of that particular you know institute innovation council and being you know the management fraternity the person professional i must say there are two things invention and innovation so generally invention being done by engineers or researchers a concrete technocrats but the other support of driving into the market you know into the right directions it is you know the need of management business administrations and many other you know the roles they need to play and what i have uh, witnessed based on my own exposure that the contribution of management business administration should improve now so i urge on that note that how we can contribute from the management and business administration point of view as well as the field in which we uh, we are working so how we can contribute because to run business to you know support any entrepreneur or entrepreneur same we all know the basic fundamental basic things without study also we have witnessed couple of startups who are not you know literate or who are not ready uh, doing any you know the course program or anything but still they are running their own you know the entrepreneurship entrepreneur or maybe you can say the innovative startups and they are being successful also to pass the grants and to get support from government and other you know uh the funding agencies so within you know since the 2015 when startup india was launched in the february it was been assumed that if we have that guts india has that guts but where we are lacking so to channelize or you can say to mobilize all the resources available and these all resources as a faculty we have so how we channelize these resources to the end user and that is so called innovators startup founders or the students who want to become the innovators so with that note uh, let us understand one by one each and every aspects of the startup ecosystem and we'll start with the innovations so i know you all are you know able you can say uh, having the knowledge of the startup ecosystem but still i'm just going through it i am not doing any new things but i'm just recalling what we have done this what we know and maybe by this effort maybe you will able to contribute more so that innovation 
is nothing but the practical imp implementation of ideas that result in the introduction of new goods or services or improvement in offering uh, goods and services. The way we see this mobile phone and look at that the first one which was being you know launched and today we are seeing the folding phone also. So that is the journey but if we if someone has just ended that research with the telephone which we are seeing in the first image then we might not have seen this mobile phone. So that innovation is again we can say the third part of the definition that improvement of the existing goods and services also a part of startups. The way you are putting your you know the extra efforts or the normal efforts with certain features or the way you you know address the market. The way you solve the problem of the society, solve the problem of this customer consumer. So that can be part of innovation and this innovations are merely of three part. The process innovation, product innovation and the service innovations. So these all are the product innovation which we are right now seeing. Service innovation we can say the Ola Uber or Swiggy Zometo which we are seeing. Would you think we, uh, before that before Swiggy Zometo we haven't ordered the food? Yes obviously we have ordered the food but the way they are delivering the way they have created the market the boom is different and that's why they are successful and that's why they are in the unicorns also. So that is what you know the normal things which we order food by you know calling or maybe why we are walking to that restaurant and we you know pack the food and we are you know carrying to our house with the family we are eating the food that you know time is not that much important at that point of time that we will go to the specific you know restaurant for getting that de delicious food from that particular you know the popular restaurant but the thing the startup founders have provided to save the time Maybe you can able to see the availability and you may avoid being into the queue of that restaurant if that particular you know the regional or the local restaurants in you know the popular enough then maybe you might be in the queue but here in this case you can order and that food will be you know delivered so to your you know the place wherever you are. When they have started they are utilizing their own resources their staff delivery boys you can say but nowadays the extra efforts been introduced by them since many years maybe after you know uh, within this last four five years that any individual any individual can pick up the food and deliver the food and they will get the commission I understand during this inflation if whatever job that particular individual is doing but the salary or the earning is not that much enough to you know feed the family members so this is the boon for them we have a couple of our staff also they are working 10 to 6 and from 10, uh, 6 pm onwards they start their you know the swiggy zomato wear the t-shirt and start taking pick up the food and delivering the food since 8 9 because because of this inflation they are not able to so i may say you know the innovation which was you know started many of the many of you know the consumer customers government might have question on what about the food quality if somebody is done with the food and they were like you know shocked when they have heard this kind of questions but they have seen the positive side of it okay, we will train our staff in such a way that and food will be packed in such a way nobody will open. They also made rule if you receive the food packet in a tier form, open form then do not accept. So this way they have adjusted that features, rules, regulation, SOPs and today we are enjoying. So this is all about that you know the innovations, the new good service or improvement or the offering. So that way these are the three types we can say product service and uh, this particular uh, goods which is being you know innovatively you know provided to us. So these all are the part of innovation. Why I am sharing? Because you should understand and then we will come to the startup ecosystem and your you know the uh, definite role to play within this you know the ecosystem. Then 
the innovation ecosystem is being you know made in this way the loosely interconnected network companies or other entities that co-evolve capabilities around a shared set of technology knowledge skill and then work cooperative why i add this intentionally because we are being educated we have certain connection with our industry because at the end students required a placement also a job also but that is the only option you know during the you know the projects or some assignments within the companies definitely they should ask the company ask the industry what are the problems your industries are facing since many years or since how many years and for what reason or for what factors they are facing this kind of you know the problems and based on that they may do a certain solutions immediate solutions maybe some jugad also and that's why i have written that co evolve capabilities by this way this can be you know increased and sometimes few industry also called it as you know they need interns they train the interns they are actually not training the interns but they are providing knowledge skills but at the same time they need solution for that ongoing problem for the from the young technocrats so this is now open for everybody and industries are now you know started you know sharing their problem statements sharing their own you know the observation their problems industry defined problems to the nearest you know uh, the colleges institute higher education universities or maybe they have picked up some iids iims also for getting their you know the uh, best solutions for that so this way this ecosystem evolved the college universities industry the investment in funding should be there whatever uh, you know the solution they want to implement they want to propose definitely certain funds are requirement and all, at the same time government also should have mechanism to evolve to support to have that culture so that industry and university work together and students should you know utilize all the resources which are being available at various you know the uh, places non government organizations are are in the or maybe some uh, industry associations and all who can you know provide it, uh, the easy access to all this you know the gateways they may you know put their own you know the uh, you know the points the problems upcoming future or maybe emerging technology or what other countries are doing and what our country are you know doing so this match making should be done and this association rightly you know present this Uh, thanks to the government industry to the university and they expect a bit you know a solution or a positive approach toward this kind of you know the initiative so this way this innovation ecosystem you know evolved and then only we may expect the next step of this innovation because when innovation happened that doesn't mean uh, merely in india there are two options of you know the innovation exit innovation when you do when you come to know this is again a new method new methodology new process new feature or new design or something then maybe as an academician as we have that pressure to write research papers we may have write down the research papers maybe uh, some patterns and then what next no, nothing before 10 years i'm sure when we have heard couple of you know the senior faculty members you know the uh, expert sessions or some you know the uh this you know the startup sessions then they say you all are you know lucky enough that you have option to start your own startup also couple of iids have opened their you know door for their faculty members that during that you know guiding the students guiding the projects if they come across any new innovative ideas or new uh, you know the uh, product service then they may take you know permission from the higher authority and then they can do the faculty entrepreneurship so would you think this will work definitely this will work because the technology they are using or the things they are you know proposing to the market is validated with their own academic you know the knowledge and expertise so this is again you know the research paper pattern and then the third option is now being open to many institutes many states have open that faculty educate educator can also do the startup can be the if not 
fully then maybe the part of any startup also as a founder as a mentor as a non executive director or something so this way innovation ecosystem will be the continuous things and this faculty this educator will have that you know confidence that rather to only focus on the theoretical aspects or the book is knowledge and everything let's work together for the development of the society development of the country and then or maybe the overall uh, startup ecosystem will be you know build up so that is what our you know the next point and before going to the next point we can understand this you know jump off global innovation index this is of 2022 but let me tell you in 2023 it is also same as you know at the 40 but look at this from 2015 when startup india has been you know started at that point of time the global Indo uh, innovation index rank is rank was we can say 81 then suddenly when policy has been launched the innovation you know start moving from every part of every corner of the country and we have started making this jump from 81 to 66 60 57 52 48 46 and 40 in 7 years we have crossed the half mile so this is very much you know supportive atmosphere created by niti ayog ministry of education aict ugc and many such you know the uh, government bodies and on the other side all the higher education institutes universities from every state have supported equally and because of that only we can able to see this jump so thanks to all educators who have contributed directly or indirectly for making this innovation movement start a movement within that state within that regional within that rural areas within that own city urban areas wherever you are and definitely this is the uh, you can say proof we can see everybody is contributing so now moving you know further that particular startup so from innovation whatever we have did the innovative things or inventions a startup aims to remedy deficiency of existing products or create entirely new category of goods and services disrupting and change the way of thinking so that is so called design thinking we always use that word and doing business for entire industries and this word start up has its own meaning because the normal business you know takes time and we might have heard about every business required 1000 days 1000 days why 1000 days now the ecosystem is ready you must identify the best way the proper way for reaching out to the your market reaching out to the your end user customers consumers but it should be you know whatever they need and that is called product market fit the innovativeness uniqueness usp we can say so then only if you are solving the right problem of the society right problem of the market then definitely you will be you know successful in your you know the market so that is what a simple a definition that aims to you know a remedy deficiency of existing products or services or maybe you can do certain you know the new categories of categories of goods and services or maybe you can you know disrupt the entrance to way of you know the thinking social media you can consider one of the best example for reaching out that particular product to the end user or maximum you know the mass there are a uh, new market coming up or already came that is the influencers bloggers these all are maybe you are seeing the reels and facebook marketplace and many things so they all are doing maybe they are unorganized startup or an unorganized way of you know the approach they have taken up but still they are doing something good so that is what the or uh, the basic things about the uh, startups then when we say startup generally it is not validated so startup when they start so they might have unvalidated business model by which they have decided to enter into the market is nothing but the business model in roughly you can say in layman language but when we say scale up whether you are successful or not in normal business we generally say successful and unsuccessful 
in startup terminology, it is being known as whether you are scale up or not. So this is just the ABC of it. Like a startup have high growth ambition and very scalable business model. And, but it starts from unvalidated, you know, middle to top. And on the other side, when you are reaching to the scale up, gradually your high growth ambition and your unvalidated business model will be converted into the validated business model. And that will be uh, considered as a scale up. At the same time, if we you know see the quadrant of C, low growth ambitions and non-scalable business. So merely it will be as it is a small normal business where actually you might have reached to your break even point also or, or maybe we can say they are satisfied whatever they are earning with that small business setup. But still startup is altogether different. It requires high growth ambitions. Here, let me tell you in business terminologies or business, Always they say, what, are, what about the profit percentage? 10%, 20%, 30%. What is our turnover and how we have, you know, passes from last year to this year, what is a profit, a profit margin? But in startup, it is always say, what are your scale of, you know, the strategies? Your business should, you know, expand, should reach, should have a profit in a 10x, 20x, 30x, 200x. This way, hyper growth should be, you know, required. And that's why it's like, you know, just you are launched, you play within the local market, rural market, niche market, like a plane, take the, you know, runner, uh, runner up kind of thing on the runway. And suddenly when they take the right time, it will take off. So that is what you should also, you know, witness that particular thing they should properly take the speed at the runway and then only they should you know take off so these are the three things just i want to convey that innovation innovation ecosystem that startup and and this is just a combination that innovation business model create value i'll come back this you know again that point that innovation doesn't drive you to the entrepreneur it requires different side of things. And it is from this diagram, you can say, if you really create value, then only you can set up your entrepreneurs. If you only, you can say business model, then maybe you can go digital or maybe you can be a value. But when you have digital innovation, entrepreneurship, then actually you are capturing the value. Capturing the value. And that's why we can see the unicorns. They rightly, you know, capture all the values through digital innovation and entrepreneurship. And that's why their business, if you see $100 million or this and that, and they are into the basket of unicorns. We have almost 120 unicorns as of now, and numbers will be high. And India become the third largest, you know, the startup ecosystem from last year. And definitely we are aiming at first position also, if all the support is being, you know, provided or the innovation coming up, you know, proposed by all the innovators, young minds and the faculty educators and everybody, then definitely it will be a success. And we may, you know, reach to the number one, you know, the startup ecosystem. So now coming to the, our main, you know, the startup ecosystem, why this, you know, uh, startup ecosystem? So startup ecosystem comprises of this, you know, six points, which is highlighted in, you know, the small circles. So it starts from, I usually start from universities. You may start from anywhere. So I usually start from universities where actually the innovators lies. And when university has this, you know, the innovator, the innovators, but when, when we can say the innovators, when university has that policy, their own mechanism, they have set up their own culture of ecosystem, culture of innovation, startup, and that particular ecosystem is being, you know, built up, developed by faculty members, researchers, academicians. Before that, it cannot be possible. If you are not training them to do entrepreneurship, to do some new things, coming up with new things, then it will be 
you know, uh, matlab, you know, the question mark, how uh, students can become the innovators. So generally from our university, what we have started, whenever students have to, you know, finalize the topic for that project, we ask them to do the industrial Swodhyatra, collect the industry defined problem or user defined problem, IDP and UDP, and make your best project from within that particular, you know, the uh, problems. Rather to copy from that seniors, generally students do that. And nowadays we all are knowing chat GPT is also available. But still, there are a couple of, you know, we, we don't want, we never have, you know, thought of having 100% result. But at least if you could able to get 10%, 20% students who take up a good innovative, you know, the project, rightly solve the problems of the right industry, and then they are putting, they are proposing to that industry, then that is the, our, you know, the plan. We know 100% never been achieved, but still, not to start is a, you can say, uh, very much bad for all of us. So we should start something. Initially, we have faced many problems. They are not coming up with good things or these and that, but we have, you know, connected uh, them with the industries, nearest industries, nearest sector councils, various, you know, the industry councils, and gradually the momentum was, you know, started. And now we have that, you know, set mechanism within the university, within the colleges, so that whenever they are finding, they finalize their, you know, the uh, project, topic, title or something at PhD level also. We have seen a student, PhD students who have come up with, you know, uh, some good, you know, the projects from industry. In pharmacy, we have witnessed a couple of drug discovery they have also did. And they are now tying uh, uh, tie up with industry and commercialize that particular, you know, the innovation in the form of the final products once they get the license and everything. So that is what the university should have started. And whatever things I have, you know, suggesting that it should include big companies. If companies are not supporting to provide this, you know, the problem statements or maybe they are not allowing uh, innovator students or faculties to visit and to observe what's going on, that it will be very much difficult. So that's why big companies also play a crucial role. They also sometimes, you know, utilize their CSR fund also. They also open their doors for, you know, inviting the innovators, innovations also. Then uh, you can say uh, support organizations, the incubation centers and the co-working spaces and many such, you know, the things. Research organizations also available like ISRO or maybe such related, you know, the association related, you know, uh, research organizations developed by or established by government or any private. They also, you know, started providing the problem statement or the things they are, you know, you can say not able to uh, propagate what they want to. So that's why the research organization also, you know, plays a crucial role in this particular ecosystem development. Service provider, like as I told you, you know, or the various example, Ola, Uber, or Swiggy, Zomato, you can imagine when Ola has started, nobody has, you know, uh, given them a, for, a positive feedback, like, what is this? If you can, if you can, you know, provide a solution, but nobody will come up, then it will be a failure. So what happens when they have started? Everybody has, you know, a given their best, provided their own spaces, only a couple of, you know, the, uh, you can say, uh, cars, transportations, and then suddenly they have changed their boards, their names, and they have cut, you know, that only old. So that is what the service provider, and this is also a crucial role. And not only this, only the service provider. There are a couple of service providers. You can say a mentoring service, advisors, investors, funding agencies, and many such, you know, the things you can provide like service, a service provider also include the private mentors, industry mentors, who can, you know, provide you the various things. 
then design thinking or design related you know expertise or maybe co-working space is also a service provider they are pro providing a low cost or very cost effective you know these spaces within the urban areas so this all you know included their role established their role they have provided their role and then this startup ecosystem brain you know built and you can see within that big you know the center how startup ecosystem is being built you must have because of this all support mechanism you must have ideas inventions research if you are not having culture of research invention or ideas then it may be difficult to have the vibrant startup ecosystem then you must have various and you know, the startups you might have supported and here in this stage startups at various stage uh, generally when ecosystem was you know started you know, smes are coming up with their you know the new things and government has also you know make their own policy to support this early stage or various stage startups then entrepreneurs should also you know be a crucial a uh, first generation or you can say second generation you know the entrepreneurs who know the each and every aspects of the business they can guide they can you know support others to okay, please do not follow this rule or this you know the way you may get failures so these all are you know the success stories and failure stories of entrepreneurs can be a crucial for making the startup ecosystem startup team members also plays a vital role i just want to share one thing that generally it has been observed when you start as an individual something new innovative thing then definitely i want to become the main person of this startup but in silicon valley usa if you are not having a team members if you are proposing any startup or any innovation alone then you are not allowed you must have team that is their eligibility why combinator when they run a google run their startup schools why combinator run their startup schools when you apply you must have team so this is what the by you can say forces they are making this kind of you know the rules this kind of you know the mechanism because there are various aspect they might have seen that if any one startup alone if they are starting or some are doing something that may get fails or maybe at certain times when they psychologically down then they need some team members to you know do that some efforts or they multiply the efforts and they may come up with some different solutions so that's why startup team members is also one of the uh, things okay okay so next is the investors and investor consist of many such you know uh, you can say type of you know the investment the angel investor venture capitalist or maybe any uh, industrialist who can you know put their money to that innovation or startups so at the same time when you have worked on some idea you have come up with any innovation and suddenly if you are not getting the support to finalize the product or maybe to have a mass production you must require funding and that is only the possibility to get this kind of huge you know the amount from investors so and along with investors there are government fundings and uh, things available nowadays in every state that any you know idea who has that potential to serve the market who have come up with some innovative things usp then definitely government funds are also available and investors with certain stake or something uh, they may you know provide you the support you may have you know seen the shark tank india now season 3 will you know come soon so you may have seen couple of 
you know the ideas if you can recall OLL the based you know the education training program you know the startup started by a 17 year you know the person 17 year individual who are not having that much exposure but still he has learned that and he has presented in such a way that he has provided end to end you can say a knowledge skill sessions and many training programs especially on skill development and entrepreneurship to nearly 20 lakh students can you believe and this is the magic or this is the power of startup if anyone start the business or a small coaching program, then they may serve only a few a limited area students or limited, you can say the area they are going to serve. But look at now today is the Baiju. And the Baiju is one of the example, Akas is one of the example, the way they have created and these are not, you know, far ahead that we are also saying Baiju as a university also, a virtual university, a digital university. Because recently, uh, our finance minister, you know, the Honorable uh, Nirmala Sitaraman ji has already uh, given that hint to have some, you can say, a virtual kind of university for emerging technology. So that is what, uh, these are mixed of many things. And through that, this startup ecosystem, you know, emerged with the effort of everybody. Then mentors who has the knowledge, who possess that particular things, they may, you know, guide the students, innovators, startups for the right directions and for right success. Advisors are also available nowadays to guide the incubators also because startup in, uh, ecosystem includes that in, uh, the support organization include the incubators. And incubators are of two types, university incubators or maybe a separate private incubators. So where they guide what kind of innovation you may, you know, ask that students should come up with or whatever they are doing, whatever innovators are doing or startups are doing, if they are on right track or not, so they validate. So mentors, advisor play a crucial role, again important role for guiding the all the innovation or innovators or startups. And then maybe uh, other entrepreneurial people who can, you know, guide you the way you require then people from related organizations within the industry association and all uh, this, you know, organization provide you various, you know, the support because these people, you know, the industrialist and other such, you know, the giant organizations, you know, the founders, they are into the, you can say, a uh, very good, you know, the growth stage and they want to give back to the society and that's why they need this kind of, you know, they provide this kind of intervention within the startup ecosystem and they provide. You may see Geo has already started there, you know, the incubation related, you know, the activities and all. Tata has also, you know, uh, started their own, you know, the innovation challenges. ONGC has also started their startup related, you know, the funding, especially for their own sectors. Infos is also coming up with this kind of things. Banks, banks have started their own services you know, for the startup specific, you know, uh, make the extra offers or good offers for startup founders and startups. This, these all are the boosters for all the players within the startup ecosystem. And with the effort of everybody, these all are enjoying. So that's what we can see the startup ecosystem. So as a university, as a higher education institute as an incubator as an educator you must contribute to the incubation center of your own university or maybe nearby universities you may guide them you may provide your expertise you can say whichever you have initially you may be you may feel i am not getting that much you know the benefits in terms of monetary non-monetary but once you be into that system right, then definitely you may uh, Identify the ways so that you can also earn money. You can have your own startup also. You may be part of that startup team. So that all required for, you know, the startup ecosystem. And then maybe uh, we can see the innovation to startup ecosystem. So how innovation via big companies, uh, the public sector, research, IPR, funding sources, innovation by startups, 
and customers. This may lead to a vibrant, you know, this startup ecosystem. So this startup ecosystem, again, being built by innovation by a big companies again, but look at that circle of innovation by startups. It is uh, being, you know, increased in a size because majority innovations comes from this student startups or the startups. And it is nothing but open, collaborative, and at the same time, uh, required access support from external uh, resources. Along with that particular thing, we have customers, we have funding resources, new funding, you know, the solutions also available in terms of crowdfunding or the industry funding, then ser uh, service providers and support organizations. So this will play a role for making their own startup ecosystem. Then how we, you know, map our own ecosystem. So there are two things. On the one side, you have a business ideas. On the other side, you have team. So as a university uh, incubation or ecosystem, you may, you know, provide, you may attract, you may inspire your students and others for providing their own, uh, you can uh, uh, say the ideas. So it starts from idea creation, then your idea should be validated. Then actually at that point of time, you actually do the team formation. You identify the like-minded people who can contribute to your idea. Based on that, parallel three things will be started from idea validation to product creation. At the same, at the same time, you must have a ways or maybe a strategy for entering into the market. And that is called business model by which you are entering into the market. At the same time, you are validating your team members also. If who will you know, provide their expertise in which you can say segment, in finance, in market, in strategy, in production, or maybe in any licensing with the government or with the market. So team validation will be done. And once you are with the product and business model, so your product should be validated, and that is product validation and then business validation comes into the picture. So there are two, uh, you can say the aspects of, you can say the ecosystem mapping, business idea, what kind of business ideas are coming up within the uh, ecosystem and what kind of team uh, success or team members are coming up. So team commitment, organization building and business validation. And this will you know, give you the larger picture of the ecosystem for making the culture of startup, culture of innovation. So this is about just, uh, you can say the ecosystem mapping and just, you can recall this also. The startup ecosystem comprises of this all aspects and innovation by startups. It should be open, collaborative and also invite or also, you know, provided external resources. Then only this uh, will be uh, the uh, success of a startup ecosystem. And when we say success, success doesn't mean only to provide the unicorns. Success means to serve our own, you can say the founders, innovator, and at the same time, they will also customer, the market should also utilizing their own, you know, the, uh, uh, you can say make in India, made in India products and that economy boost up will be, you know, happen. So that's why it is uh, a startup ecosystem with customers, service provider, new funding, or funding, or research IPR, this all will be a part of it. You may not have 100% startup, but if you have started with innovation, then you may come, end up with your research, you may end up with your IPR patterns, and uh, many other things. So this will be, uh, you can see, a unique kind of a startup ecosystem. And everybody will have their own, you know, the uh, role. So that's why this, you need to understand innovation to startup and this business and the team formation for making the ecosystem mapping. So it includes idea creation to product creation to product validation. And why I'm sharing this, 
if you know this all i know you all are knowing this basic uh, you know the fundamentals but whenever you are you know guiding your mentoring your students then also you can you know provide this kind of you know the clue or advices so that they will be you can say on the right track and they will get the various fundings i have not included the funding part here but you may explore that part within that available you know the policies because every state has different policies if we talk about gujarat gujarat has policy for you can say startup starting from 2.5 lakh support to uh, almost uh, 36 or 38 lakh 40 lakh so this is uh, maybe uh, you can say 2.5 lakh is uh, not that much sufficient maybe sometime in the research related or maybe extensive research you know intense you know the uh, product or the idea but definitely that will you know boost them rather to utilize their own money let us utilize this money and uh, validate it whether this will work or not so this way this particular things are you know required then we can uh, see this ideas and talent how uh, this will work so higher education research based iprs and ideas again it is into this you know minus two minus one which i already you know seen you can see this here you know the image first at a glance what you can see the higher education on the left side on the right side you can see the big companies so, but in between there are certain numbers i have marked it. so it starts from problem solution fit so whatever research or something you are planning or the things which you have through your talent and talent means your students because today we are talking about higher education and in higher education we have a meritorious students to average students to you can say extraordinary students who can perform well in the academic as well as into the entrepreneurs so they should be you know uh, uh, given a proper guideline uh, research and you can see the bottom part the funding and financial organizations and government government should have certain policy and mechanism so that they should you know do so just a small example we can see the project which students are making should be plagiarism free so what is the meaning of that they need to work hard to make a unique thing at least in content we may say very small thing like in content they will change the phrases or change the synonyms and maybe they will come up with the new things but still if they are doing then definitely one day and nowadays we can see a good you know innovative you know the countries they are coming up with uh, idea they are coming up with they are proposing in a manner that they know or they can you know drive this overall ecosystem so that is what the research based ipr or ideas will be at problem or solution field then they will have vision and founders field at the zero and then through this funding government and other mechanism they convert they understand the product understand the market requirement and they will have a product or market fit at number one by this time we may not say you have started you may have say a simple or innovative project you may have registered that particular innovation as a legal entity or llp private limited or something but this is initiation so this initiation leads to a start but look at that the previous steps if they are not getting the support within that particular minus two minus one and zero within the higher education institute then we may not have that number one that product and market fit so that's why this is uh, important for every educators higher education institutes to have this inside culture within that own you can say higher education institutes and i can't uh, you can say assume now that no institute have that this kind of mechanism definitely they will have and dedicated person also you know maybe you might have identified who are looking after this kind of you know the activities but they should be taken care as a faculty also whenever you are taking the sessions whenever you are delivering a couple of you know the topics to your students and all then definitely you should you know raise a question like this that do you have any idea who can you know provide you or provide you a 
proper solutions for the problem which you are facing since many years. So that is what the higher education, you know, the role, educators' role will be uh, important. And if when we, uh, we say product market fit, you are coming up with product market fit, actually your innovation will be tested, then there are uh, two, three things available. You can, you know, you can say struggle with your startup for the initial one year or two years or six months or so, but you have, might have options of funding. You might not have the options of funding. If you are not having, then there are companies available you that can be, you know, merger and acquisition can be possible. So I just, you know, share one example of Raidbirds. When it was started by in the, this, you know, Panindra Sama from Bangalore. So they have never think that Go ABBO will, you know, take over them. Within six to seven years of their journey, struggling journey or successful journey, I'm not into that, but it was being sold to Go ABBO or Go ABBO has acquired with 450 crores of rupees. Also, I'm not uh, sure with that figure, but within seven years, 450 crores with that young kids, young you know, engineers who have started. So that is to be, you know, uh, you know, convinced or that is to be conveyed to your, you know, the students, our students, so that they can understand the importance of this. So then later on, uh, you may require incubation centers, support or, uh, you know, various government, you know, the incubation, R&D, or maybe some expert mentors, industry mentors for making your, you know, business model uh, validated. And then only you may uh, say this is, you can say now your startup takeoffs with their early stage revenue, early stage uh, profits, early, uh, early stage benefits, early stage market access, market expansion from one state to another state, one country to another country, and so on. So that's what uh, this, you know, the things works from higher education to big companies. So today we are thinking from higher education, but there are different ways to have the startups. Any individual can do. We have a couple of good examples from, you can say local rural, you can say rural heroes who have started a small things of you can say Bharatkam or textile related some, uh, you know, the uh, weaving work and they have reached to a good level. Okay. So maybe higher education can be one of the pillars for contributing to the startup ecosystem. But we should outshine properly, we should outshine effectively so that the pillar of higher education should have a more weightage than the others. Why any individual should left out? whether they are student or not, our student can reach out to this, you know, the mass who are innovators, illiterate in education, but they have good knowledge, they have good innovation. So the student should tap out them, reach out them, bring them out to the market, their innovation to the market. That is also one of the startups. That is also our activity. That is our role. So that is, that kind of things can be, you know, mapped out. And that's why the role of higher education as an educator, you have access to all the market, all the society, all the rural geographical areas. We all are doing industrial visits. Why should we go without any agenda? We should go with the agenda specific to this innovation observation report. And they should also, you know, uh, interact with industry now onwards. At our university, we have made that a student volunteer should reach out to the company. They should interact with the company and they finalize the date for industry visit. And then we go all go along with the faculty and everybody. And we have asked them to, you know, submit the observation report of whatever industry visit you do. And observation should include this, 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 this. So initially it was very much pathetic. Let me tell you, very pathetic. It was not up, that up to the mark. But gradually we have a good students and these students have understood the importance of this and they have started presenting good, you know, the report to the industry and at the end industry have observed them, 
rather to go for you know the placement and interviews without interview that kind of students been absorbed by the industry because they have rightly presented the observation not this solution i'm not talking about the solutions so that observation matters a lot from outside you can say some students some individual came into the industry and they can able to observe all the things that's a good thing because sometimes within the industry within the some you know the uh, environment we may not see the problem we may not have the outlook but from the third person point of view they may have bird view that they can see the problem they can see the success points also benefit beneficial points to the organization and the accessible points so that should be the one small you can see the mechanism that industry business in many ways you may you know try to you know solve out uh, sort out this kind of mechanism you may come up with this a uh, particular process sop and then uh, we may see the vibrant startup ecosystem in coming time so this is all about uh, what we can the link between a link between the higher education and the innovations or the big companies or the startup ecosystem with the support of funding financial organizations and the government policies who can actually drive the state actually drive the nation so this uh, are again i'm just posing one uh, things to everybody how they can you know contribute okay